we're going to change out the shepherd's hook with this. Good lord. Not going to have some dirt in it. We went to the zoo yesterday. What a what an ordeal that was. Anyway, we're going to swap out our shepherd's hook with this and uh, get a lot better retention and it's a lot easier on and off. First thing you're going to do here is remove our safety selector. It just rotates up and out. This is actually one of my own uh, safety selectors that we fabbed up. You can focus there. And uh, actually, I'll admit something here on myself. Oh, kicking the camera. Something that I didn't realize whenever I made this safety selector. Uh, I just didn't have the, the foresight to see it at the moment. My underfolder, whenever it folds up, it hits my addition there. And so what I'm going to do is uh, this one's coming off, and uh, I'm putting this one on uh, from an AKM. And uh, once I have made the appropriate changes, then this will come back off, and uh, this will go back on. That way, you know, we've got we've got the gun up and running while I'm making some changes. And what we want to get out of there is this godforsaken shepherd's hook. And any of you guys know what I'm talking about. I am serious whenever I say that God has forsaken anybody that works on these and they have a shepherd's hook that they have to deal with. I mean, it's, it's easy to just go in there and get it out of there, but it really does just scratch everything up. They're rough on it. I mean, far be it for me to be too worried about the finish on a firearm, but at the same time, like with this one, you know, it's, it's a brand new, and this thing's just been put together. We had to go with the shepherd's hook at the time. And what this is, this is actually just a modified full auto one. Uh, it's just been cut. Now we'll go back to this one. You see it's split there and split there to give it a little bit of play. And make sure your pins are pushed from the left to the right as far as they'll go. Make sure that everything is pulled out of the way there. Get your spring out of the way. You want to make sure that it is down and it's behind the notches on those pins. Anybody that's not 100% sure what I'm talking about when I say the notches and the pins, see this ledge right here and this notch? That right there is where that clip or that shepherd's hook is supposed to go. <clears throat> this area right here is actually the area that's taken up by the width of your receiver. And so then this area here is where the, the clip goes and this area here is what goes against the clip to keep the pin from being able to walk out. See there's nothing on this side. It just gets a little area right here, the same width as that ledge that is the width of your receiver. So that's how that works. Now we'll take our Look, and these things, they'll have a curvature to them because they have to have pressure up against your receiver there. Now, I've not cut on this one yet, so I might have to circle my wagons because to make the full auto selectors work with the semi-auto stuff, sometimes you have to edit it just a little. See how this one's been cut on? So, we'll go ahead and for the video purposes of this clip, We'll put the old one back in here. Just want to make sure it goes in there. Everything latches in. 
run this down and you're in good shape make sure your safety works it does and that has got everything contained and it's very easy to get in and out of there now where you can clean your trigger group change things out whatever you need to do thanks for watching